what we're trying to demonstrate with these, if you go back real quick to the HID one, uh, and as Brandy, yeah, there we go. As Brandy mentioned, you know, what is, what are the target VPDs for a given stage of growth? Um, that's, that's up for debate and I'm not gonna weigh in on that exactly. Though we can talk briefly about, you don't necessarily have to agree on a number. You can figure, if you're an existing facility, you can figure out exactly what your current VPD is. And if you really like that, then that can be your target, you know, moving forward. Um, so one other technical point to VPD in case it wasn't enough is that, you know, this is a vapor pressure deficit or a vapor pressure differential that suggests that there's a difference between two different things. We've talked about one of those things, which is the conditions of the space, temperature and relative humidity. The other element that drives the VPD is the leaf surface temperature. So that essentially acts as the temperature of the bulk water within the plant. And that's what's again, driving the deficit or the difference, the D in VPD. Mm. So even this chart here is dependent on what I entered as a leaf surface temperature uh, for these HID fixtures. And then if you move to the next slide, um, this is a VPD chart for an LED setup um, where we are trying to account for the fact that we no longer have the same leaf surface temperature. And this comes down to what Keith was talking about earlier, which is that reduction in sensible load. You know, moving from high pressure sodium, not only the reduction in sensible load, but the change in spectrum from that light uh, to the reduced sensible load of an LED and the different, perhaps more targeted spectrum of the LED is gonna impact the leaf surface temperature. And that's another important element of vapor pressure deficit. So if you're an existing facility operating with HID, you can record your temperature and relative humidity. You can record your leaf surface temperatures. And with that, you can calculate how am I operating now? What is my target vapor pressure deficit? If you then convert to LED, by using those same measurements, you can either adjust your facility until you're getting an equivalent vapor pressure deficit with that new leaf surface temperature, or you can play with your facility until you get to that leaf surface temperature that you previously had. So there's, there's, it gives you a new way to view the conditions of your space. And if you're comfortable typically talking about temperature and relative humidity, as long as you know your leaf surface temperature, then you can always turn that back into vapor pressure deficit. But it just provides a, a more informed, a more nuanced way to understand the relationship between the plant and the environment. Um, and again, big difference with LED and HID is that reduction in sensible heat, the change in the wavelength of the lighting being provided to the leaf, and that's gonna impact that overall balance of loads and plant response within the space.